Okay, welcome back to Barry's Allotment. I'm Barry, this is the allotment. It's October, it's the end of the growing season, 2023. So I thought we should do an update. I haven't done an update for probably the whole of, at least the whole of August, because not a lot's been happening. It's been warm, but it's been quite overcast. Even the grass has barely grown for the last couple of months. But it's time to do a plot tour. The weather's finally changing. I was hoping for this to be like an autumnal plot tour, but as you can see, the, the leaves on the trees are only just starting to, to turn, it's, but it feels like the beginning of autumn. I need to harvest the quince today before the weather does finally turn and they fall off. So we're gonna harvest those. I might trim the grass in areas, but we'll start at the front of the plot, give you a little tour, a little end of season update. A little bit disappointing this year, to be honest. No dramas, but I was hoping, because it wasn't, it was hot, but it was quite overcast. So yeah, I was hoping the trees would put on a little bit more timber and maybe we'd get a decent crop of apples that we could actually consume this year, but the trees are still not big enough, but start the front and work our way back. So at the very front here, we've got a few lavender plants. They haven't really grown very much at all this season. And then we've got two pear trees that I planted. I got them from the supermarket. And this one actually looked okay. I think the leaves are dying off due to autumn. The other one looked like that pretty much as soon as I put it in the ground, but it's, it's made a remarkable comeback. But yeah, this looked like it wasn't gonna make it. But it's early days. These are the Jerusalem artichokes, a couple of them didn't make it this season and the others haven't grown very much at all. This is a pear tree that's a couple of years old now and yeah again nothing's really grown significantly this year for some reason. That's uh, an asparagus plant that's growing like a weed. These are blueberry bushes, same story, they really haven't put on much timber at all, they're pretty much they're fractionally larger than they were at the end of last season after a whole year's growth. That the, uh, the squirrels keep digging holes here and planting acorns. They end up with oak trees if I don't keep pulling these out. So yeah, another, there are blue blueberries here and pink blueberries. And yeah, this year wasn't their year. This one I was warned that it would be, you know, uncontrollably massive. And look at it, it's like a, it's like a pot plant uh, the quince tree is looking the quince tree is hit and miss some years you have a really good harvest some years none last year i don't I can't, I, there's been so many years this is many years old now and i think last year they all rotted on the tree but this year we're going to get a really good harvest by the looks of things this is a rosemary trim this back a lot in recent years and it's making a comeback this is a big old lavender plant here this apple tree had some disease it had rotted in the trunk i had to chop it right back to the as you can see i had to cut it right back that little that was a little twig popping out and uh, yeah that seems to be recovering i don't think it's fully recovered but it's recovering horseradish there big bush of horseradish this is a this was an apple tree that i had in a pot for a couple of years um it was on standby in case the other one didn't make it and we put them in the plot this year a few more asparagus plant that's an asparagus fully grown asparagus we've got a few asparagus here just growing not enough for a meal um, unfortunately this here is a fig tree now this fig tree kept every year it died so i put the green gauge tree that is the green gauge tree there i put that in in its place once it died one year and as soon as i did it made a remarkable comeback so now they're sort of fighting for position and that was a sage plant there this is another apple tree this was in a pot for a couple of years like the other one on standby in case the one I chopped back didn't make it and yeah I thought it would be it was time to put them in the plot so now they're supposedly dwarf trees because they're way too close to these full size trees if they're not dwarf didn't get the we didn't get I, I thought this year was going to be the year we got a crop of apples but the trees are still not big enough we did get apples but they didn't go the distance. They started falling off before they were fully ripened. But they did help bush out the tree. The shed needs painting. I'm hoping to get that done if the weather holds out. I should have done it earlier in the year. So, everything's looking okay. I just hoped everything had grown. I was hoping everything 
could have grown a little bit more this year, but there's always next year. The shed needs painting as well, which is a job I probably should have done a month or so ago. So I'm hoping that will that will wait till spring. I've got the paint. It's just the time to do it. I should have done it when it was warmer. Right, so what I'm here to do today, harvest the quince while I still can. And I might give this little grass area here at the back a trim, final trim before winter. So hopefully it will slow things down into spring. It's quite long actually. But that is two months growth, which is, it's not long for two months growth. I, I came and checked just throughout the whole of August didn't grow and then uh, it did the sun did come out and it did rain in September but I guess the temperature just wasn't there this is great constantly cutting the grass is a pain right quince The sun's decided to come out as soon as I'm facing it. The sun's finally decided to come out as soon as I'm facing that direction. Huge crop of really good crop of quince this year. That's about, I would say, a quarter or a third, which is all I'm going to take for now. And I'll, I'll do it, maybe I'll make a batch of membrillo each week until we run out of weeks and weather. It's strange because some of the quince are already have already completely rotted on the tree some of them seem quite ripe i mean a ripe quince is it's a quite it's not a fruit many people are familiar with but i'd say it's almost like a a pear type they're quite hard kind of a pear type fruit so it's hard to gauge but some of them are still green they're still not completely it's still not ready, so yeah, I'll come and get, a, I'll take a batch, probably got a couple of kilos there, and then I'll get another batch next week. But yeah, really pleased with this year's crop. Sometimes you get none. And yeah, like a year like this, bumper quince year. Okay, one final little job I'm gonna do is cut the grass around these apple trees here at the back. It's quite long and hopefully that will help. Give me a head start in spring. So it's actually the weather, the sun's come out. It's the start of October, it's unseasonably warm. As you can probably hear, the wind's blowing, but yeah, it's t-shirt weather, not complaining. Yeah, unseasonably warm.
So that is it. Little trim up of the grass here around the apple trees. It's looking, looking okay. I won't go so far as good. It looks better and hopefully that will put us in good stead in spring. It's a little head start. So that is it for season 2023 here at Barry's allotment. It's been a mixed year. I'm really happy with the crop of quince this year. That's phenomenal. It's a bit hit and miss, quince. However, I'm equally disappointed with the, the apple tree's performance. They just, it's the weather. I was hoping that this year would be my first proper crop of apples, that the trees would be big enough to support them, but they just, they're just not big enough yet. So, especially this little one here. And those two at the back, they're still not quite there. Maybe, ne maybe next year, hopefully next year. But, but I may, if the weather stays like this, it's a beautiful day here. The sun's almost shining. It was shining when I was looking into it. But yeah, if the weather stays like this, I may get time to paint the shed if it's going to stay like this but I may just get that job done I may not have time to faff around filming it but to all the new subscribers this year season 2023 thanks for subscribing and all of the uh, long time viewers thanks for sticking around and all your comments and that is it for 2023 here at the allotment and guess it's toodles until the start of season 2024 so let me be the first to wish you a very merry christmas and a happy new year and i'll see you in 2024 the shed painting is very much dependent on the weather so let's not make any promises based on the weather so until 2024 toodles